everybody, my name is Lex, welcome to the video. I have something very exciting for you today, it's something that I've been looking forward to for a very long time. I ordered some nail products on Amazon and I also went to the store and bought some things. I threw that in here too because I figured it's all relative, right? But I haven't opened any of them, I haven't tested anything, I wanted to do it all here with you guys. I have a big box of goodies filled to the brim and I am just so excited to start opening it and looking at everything. I'm going to link everything I bought down below and the prices too. I might pop them up here or I might put them down in the description box. I don't know yet. I'm really excited to just start playing with it, swatching it, looking at it, and talking about it. So if that's something that interests you then stick around. Alrighty, so the first few items I'm going to show you Maybe they're not the most interesting, but they are useful. Um, and the first three things, I think, yeah. The first three things I'm going to show you, I actually got at Sally's Beauty Store, or Beauty Supply. The first thing I wanted to show you is, of course, a cuticle pusher. So here we go. Just an average cuticle pusher. This is a mandatory item. The next thing I got at Sally's, which I saw... I believe on maybe TikTok or another YouTube video was this orange wood stick and I don't know if you can see that but it has like sanding grit on it so as you're pushing the cuticles back with it it really helps in removing the cuticle itself so I feel like this is really going to come in handy I love it already so I only got one but I feel like I could probably have gotten a hundred the other thing I purchased at Sally's, which once again, it's just a necessity, it's not necessarily a fun thing, but cuticle oil. I mean, this is very, very important. Lotion them up a little bit. Give them a little bit of love. Those cuticles need love. Never forget that. <laughs> Alright, so now we're going to move on to some interesting stuff. These next few items that I'm about to show you, I actually got at Ulta Beauty. Um, let me start with this which is a brush kit to do, you know, nail art and things of that sort. These are all individually wrapped. See, this is the type of stuff, like, I might need some scissors. Hold on one second. Let me go grab some scissors. Alrighty, I'm back, and I didn't come alone because I got my little, my little scared baby here. Um, I think a storm is coming, and he snuck in while I was getting the scissors because... He's terrified of thunderstorms, so he's just going to be sitting right here with us while we film the video. I also got my little scissors. So, this kit came with five tools, four of which are brushes, I believe, and one is a dotting tool. Here is the first one. Look at how small that is. Definitely, I could picture myself doing some very little details with that. <laughs> Whoa. Oh my gosh. Look at how long this is. I feel like this is going to be really good to do stripes or like straight lines. I would say that this is more similar to a cleanup brush. Here's another one. It has a curved end to it, so it is slightly different. The other one was flat. And here's the dotting tool. The next items I'm going to show you, I'm going to grab them all because they're all the same thing. Can you tell what it is by that sound? Nail polish. <laughs> I got black, I got white. I mean, you always need that if I want to do my nails at home, then I'm going to want black and white. And then I couldn't resist getting this beautiful, like, forest green or sage green and I also got a top coat a glossy top coat I already had a glossy top coat but of course mine got glitter in it I don't know how that happened but <laughs> it happened so I've now dedicated that one to being glitter and now I'm going to have a nice new top coat that I'm not ever going to use with glitter so it doesn't get stuck in there these are all red carpet brand I was just putting stuff in my cart I really didn't have any rhyme or reason, but when I saw this, I just said, I'm going to buy it. You know, why not? And that is a stamping kit. So there's this stamp palette that has all different patterns on it. Of course, this has a blue film on it. You would remove that before using it. 
but they have a bunch of different patterns that you can use and they came with a swipe card for when you put the polish on it so here's the stamper also which I really like this actually it's completely clear um, it's like a silicone stamper so that when you pull up the print from the screen you can look down the center of it and make sure that it's lined up with the nail and stamp it on so I've seen it used before I haven't ever used one before not even at school so I'm excited to try and see what type of results we get all right so now we're gonna get into the items that I ordered off of Amazon some of them they're not super fun items but like I said, I needed them, so I bought them. <laughs> the first thing that I feel everybody needs is sanding bands that go on the e-file. So they're just um, the 180 grit, pretty fine grit sanding bands. Forms, sticker forms that you put on without using a tip to form the acrylic or maybe other products onto the nail some carbide drill bits and this kit looks so cute it's like a polishing bit of some sort very soft a cone shaped feels almost like a um, sandpaper very fine and apparently carbide bits are supposed to be cooler so that's another reason I wanted to get these this one is like a safety bit. It has a nice smooth top so you can get it nice and close to the cuticle. So this, I guess I'll show you in the box before I open it. A 75 watt UV LED light. I mean, this is going to be a powerful one. This ain't no rinky dink light. Oops, sorry, lots of noise. <laughs> I'm not going to plug it in or anything right now. I'm just going to take it out of the box. Look at it pink on the inside, how cute. It has a digital display with three different time settings, but this bottom piece you can kind of see that all slides out. So if you're doing pedicures, gel pedicures, you can completely remove that piece and put it over the foot. So you don't have to worry about people putting their foot where your other customers are putting their hands. Plus it's going to make it easier for cleaning, I think. So I really like that. We got a couple other really cool things. These are like the things I'm the most excited about. These last three items. They're, they're the reason I do this. Beetles nail powder. I don't know if you guys already know what this is. When I do the swatches, that's when this is really going to shine. They're powders that you put on top of gel polish that give it a different effect. Um, these three just have like a iridescent glow to them. This one, which this light is not doing it justice, is a hollow powder. It's an 8-pack. So these ones are um, like a mirror chrome effect. You put it on and it makes your nail look shiny like a mirror and one of them this one up here is a color shifting chameleon chrome so that is just gonna be so cool I don't know if you can see it kind of shifting colors when I do the swatches tomorrow that's really gonna be a lot more visible I'm very excited about that I'm not just like your put some polish on the type of girl. I like to have some like bling bling on my nails. A pack of glitter. Also, before I open all the glitters and show you them, it did come with this really nice fluffy brush. So you would just put the glitter on that, gently brush the excess off, and top it with a clear coat. We'll see. I'm going to be doing some swatching tomorrow, so we will see. This lighting is not doing it justice at all, but this has a rainbow effect when you see it at a certain light. Then we have red. This one is just going to be a blue glitter. That's a beautiful blue. We have a orange hollow glitter. There we go. See how it reflects all the different colors? 
like a rose pink collar glitter. Green. That's pretty. That gold. You can never have too much gold. <laughs> this beautiful teal. I feel like that's going to be a very useful color. Being in Florida, you know, with that beachy look. And this is a purple hollow glitter. A blue hollow. Trying to get there it is. It is like that perfect angle. Look at it sparkle. Oh my god. A silver hollow. A gold hollow. These are gonna be gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Can't wait to play with them. I am definitely covering glitter also, if anybody's curious. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot something. So, how I was talking about, I'm going to be doing all these swatches. Well, I can't do this all in my hand. If you've ever gotten your nails done, you've probably seen these before. But, they're nail swatch sticks. It has a little plastic tip on there. So you can polish these, cure them under the light, and that way I can put all this stuff on there. And the biggest thing I left in the other room, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. So let me go grab that real quick and I'll be right back. Alright, so the biggest and bestest thing. <laughs> you know what this is. Gershon Poly Gel Kit. I don't know if any of you have experienced Poly Gel before, but I've been playing around with it in school a little bit and I'm becoming a little bit obsessed. So I just wanted to get my own kit so I, I can practice. I literally have not even opened this. It's still in the plastic wrap. I've had this for a few days and I have not opened it because I wanted to film it because I'm so excited. Alright, so let me just show you right out of the box what I have. I have six, I think they're five maybe, milliliter. I believe that, yeah, they're 30 milliliters each, so 180 milliliters altogether of poly gel. It also came with a base coat and a top coat. I don't know which is which. It has an instruction manual, which I'll definitely be reading later. It came with a nail file, 100 and 180 grit, so that will definitely come in handy. It came with a magic wand. This is going to be, yes, the application brush which actually looks similar to one of the brushes I got in the kit, so I'm curious now if that's going to be the same situation. Maybe I could use both of them. It's pretty firm. I love how solid and nice this feels. The other end has a little tiny spatula on it, um, so that when you open the poly gel, because you'll see when we do the swatches, how it comes out. A lot of people use the um, spatula to apply it to the nail form. They call these dual forms. You actually put the poly gel inside of these and put it on top of your nail, cure it under the lamp, and then pop it off. And when I say your nail is done after that, I mean if you put that on correctly, you're done. You do a little filing at the end, a little tiny bit of shaping, then you're done. It looks like a tip but it's not it's curved at the bottom but you would fill this entire area with poly gel put it on top of your finger and cure it I'm gonna show you how to do that it's amazing it also actually came with a couple of the sticker forms that I showed you earlier I had already ordered but it's nice to have some extras I'll keep my other pack closed and uh, test it out with this one first that is everything that I have got. I mean, I don't know, this is a lot for me. A lot, a lot. <laughs> I'm really excited to play with all these things. I wanted to open them and get this part over so I could play with it and look at it a little bit. So, tomorrow or the next day when I have some more free time, I'm going to be doing samples and swatches and testing with all of this stuff. So, I will keep you posted. But 
for now, that is all I've got. I hope you have a great day. I can't wait to see you in the next video. Thank you so much. Bye.